So the next project we're going to do is a tunnel book. Now tunnel books have been around for centuries and there's all kinds of ways to make them and I've just kind of thrown these together and we're going to try and see how many of you guys are interested. So they're go the, one, hmm, the way I designed them is they're going to be in a repurposed book and um and i'll show you what i did the size of this one is a little over eight and about five and a quarter and i believe this one's about the same just in a different no this is yeah almost eight and five and a quarter so basically we have landscape and we have the portrait style so let me show you this one first and some of the things you can't won't be able to see too well because it's kind of dimensional and of course everything looks kind of flat on the video but um you open this one up and this is the kind that we're going to be doing the other kind of tunnel books that you may have seen there's like two basic type where you get a book and you cut out the pages in the book to create the tunnel. And then there is the kind that has the accordion sides that allow you to have the dimension. When it's standing upright, you know, you can obviously pull it out. And when you're looking at it, you can see the tunnel more than when it's like this because, of course, it's going to start. It tends to want to lay flat. So I think this one's kind of cool. And then here on the side, I just uh, put a little flap where another little small journal can go. Because obviously <laughs> you don't write in a tunnel book. Well, at least not this kind. And then here is the little journal. That's one option. There's a lot of different things that you can do on the inside of the book. I'll show you that on the other one in a second. And it doesn't matter what the book looks like because we're going to end up covering all of the inside and the outside anyway. So it really doesn't matter. And then here is the other shape. And I just did a lot of collaging and I put a tree here on the side and a couple of trees here in the front and then this one is more of a forest it's got a lot of little different layers in there and then I made a side pocket here and it just has a little a little book in here with some more of the trees so this is more highlighting the forest aspect and again it's just got all of the yumminess all around it but anyway these are fun to make if you've never made one please don't be intimidated because if you just go step by step they're very easy and um, and we'll be doing those together let me show you what will be in your kit you're gonna be getting I'm gonna have a already a whoops a book in there for you that's already been all torn apart and um, you may or may not decide to change the width of your spine depending on the design you're going to do but um that will all come later <laughs> that will all come later i didn't have any time to use these i'm gonna put these throughout the book but just little little doodads that would look really kind of cute on the different levels and on the little books you might make or on the covers but like I said, I didn't have time to use that yet. Um, the, the different covers 
papers that I put on here and in the little book and the um, papers that I used around the little trees. I'm not sure if you can see all that. I have like different layers. I use um, these pages. They are really yellowed and uh, you know, they look like they're tea dyed, but they're not. So they're a lot of fun to work with when you're putting together um, the journal. So there'll be a whole bunch of those in there, more than what you'll need. And th this comes from, where did it go? I've used a lot of this and I still have oodles. It's in Spanish and it's a dictionary. And I think it's from the 1940s or something like that. And um, so, but it, we're using it as background pages. So it really doesn't matter what language that is. So that's there. Um, these... And I'm giving you um, the the printouts to do either book, so you might you might end up making two of them. So these, let me let me get organized here so I can remember what I'm doing here. Okay, so these papers right here are for this one, and you may not it may not be obvious where it goes, but we'll do it all together. So these are the papers that we'll be using for that one. And some of them you can cross back and forth. No one says it can go just on one. And then these are papers that are, will go with this one. On some of these you have um, a large picture and then a smaller one of the same one and that's to create the layers and then we're going to get I think it's three folios because we're gonna cover up all the books with the exterior of the book with these and then make our little books that go on the side so there's that and then these sections that create the whole tunnel, these have been done with these papers glued on to real thin cardboard or um, these folders. So I put in a couple of folders in case you don't have any or you don't have any real thin cardboard. And if you do have cardboard that's thin, the accordion part is a lot easier if we do it with something about this thickness. So there's going to be two of those in there. So you're going to have everything to make, basically, everything to make these two tunnel books. And I think we're going to have fun. I like it. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> as long as I like it, right? Alrighty, all of these are going to be in the Etsy shop, and as usual, we'll be making them together on my live, so no problems trying to figure out how to make them. We'll be making them all together. <laughs>